A cemetery is filled with addicts that thought they can handle their addiction again. Hi, I'm Jenny McCarthy. What brings me here on this video today is to introduce an amazing therapist, friend, self-help guru, best-selling author, Tom Gagliano. I'm joined by Thomas Gagliano. I am joined by Tom Gagliano. I got so much positive feedback about the segment that I decided to invite back Thomas Gagliano. See, addictions aren't the problem, they're the symptoms. What's the problem is, I believe, and how I help others is to know that it's an emotional crippleness. And that's really what creates the symptom of addiction. You know, when you talk about Prince, you're talking about a kid that at seven years old had divorced parents, and a seven-year-old doesn't say, oh, gee, my parents have problems. A seven-year-old says, what's the matter with me? I must be defective, I must be unlovable. When you grow up with that kind of wound, opiates become a source of oxygen. They help you forget about your problems. And this is what happens with many people that grow up in this challenging childhood. Now, opiates, opiates are very addictive, and when people can't afford opi uh, the, the prescription drugs, they're gonna go to heroin, it's the cheaper choice. When they start to get sober, they realize it's not oxygen. But while they're going through this phase, the key for me is they need to connect with people again. They need to start to trust people as their coping mechanism, not the addiction. What an addict has to understand as he's going through therapy, because they become fragmented, they're not congruent. They become split into two people. When you have parents and addiction, the child says, what's the matter with me? I'm not good enough. My son in the eighth grade came to me and said, hey dad, some of my friends smoke weed. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how that feels. So what did I do? I didn't jump in and say, stay in your room till you're 26, then come out. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> not Instead, a bad idea though. No, not bad. That was my first thought. <laughs> Instead, I said to him, what do you know about weed? What do you know about drugs? Let's go on the computer. Let's find out and understand that if you choose to break the law, you choose to go to jail. When they get that message and they allow other people into their lives to help them, as we were talking about in support group, with therapists, with 12-step programs, with sponsors, and they bring their insides out. And what eventually happened is he came back to me weeks later and said, you know, Dad, I don't hang out with those kids anymore. What did I do? He made decision on his own. But if I don't create that safe place where he can talk to me about his struggles, mm. maybe he goes somewhere else to talk about his struggles.